Hi everyone, welcome or welcome back again to my YouTube channel. My name is Wendy, an expat mom here in Portugal. So today we're going to talk about the banking here in Portugal, how you're going to open and what you're going to need to open a bank account here in Portugal if you want to be an expat. Portugal, picturesque nation renowned for its rich history, vibrant culture, and laid-back lifestyle has emerged as a popular destination for expats seeking a change of scenery and a taste of European charm. We all know that. However, settling into a new country often involves navigating unfamiliar system. And for expats, opening a Portuguese bank account is a crucial step in becoming a fully integrated member of the community here in Portugal. So before you go to open a bank here in Portugal, gather a necessary documents to ensure a smooth and efficient process. These are typically includes are the valid passports or national ID card, proof of address in Portugal, such as a utility bill or rental contract, a Portuguese tax identification number, or they call it NIF, which can be obtained from the local tax office, the proof of employment if you have a job, or if it can be also used the payslip or work contract. And also, they need a mobile number with activated SMS. We all know Portugal is boasts at the diverse banking landscape, offering a range of options to suit of different needs and preferences. Here are some glimpses into some popular choices for expats here in Portugal. These are Banco de Portugal, the central bank of the Portugal offering a comprehensive range of services and a solid reputation for financial stability. The second bank is Caixa Geral de Depositor, Depositos. I'm not sure pronouncing it well. Portug it's a Portugal's largest bank with a nationwide presence and wide range of products and services, including international banking options. I think this is the national bank, like the main bank in Portugal. The third bank is Santander, a well-established bank with a strong focus of technological innovation and customer service. As I, as I know, many investors are using this bank. The other bank is Novo Banco, a relatively new bank formed in 2014 from a merger of three triple troubled banks, offering a competitive rates and a modern approach to banking. The other one is N26. This is well known as a digital only bank known for its user friendly app and low fees, particularly attractive for expats seeking a streamlined banking experience. Another one is Activa Bank. Personally, I'm using Activa Bank because why? It's amazing because there's zero monthly fees. Those banks that I mentioned before, they have monthly fees. So, when choosing a bank account in Portugal, consider factors such as location, you know. If you're frequently traveling, choose a bank with a strong nationwide pres presence or branches in areas you frequent. Another one you should consider is the product and services. Evaluate the specific products and services to outline with your needs such as international money transfer, online banking capacity, capabilities and mobile banking app. Another you should consider is the fees. As I have said, compare the fees associated with the various accounts, including monthly maintenance fees, ATM withdrawals, and international transfers. That's why I'm choosing Activa Bank because they don't have monthly fees. So another one you must consider is customer service. Research customer service reviews and feedback to understand the bank reputation for customer service. That's what I did. Although, Activa Bank not so much good uh, review, but I like to use it because, you know, you can save some 8 euro a month right, the, the, for monthly fees. So, the process of opening bank account in Portugal typically involves the following steps. Number one is choose a bank and visit the branch for or schedule an appointment online. Submit the required documents such as the passport, that's what I said before, proof of address and NIF and etc. That's what they need. Complete the account opening form, 
providing personal information and first financial details. Make an initial deposits. Usually it's uh, mandatory. It's ranging usually from 250 to 300 euro. Then you're going to receive your debit card, which may be issued immediately or mailed to your address after. But I have some additional tips for you as an expat if you want to move here in Portugal and open a bank account. Explore online banking options if you prefer a digital approach to managing your finances. Second one is sign up for SMS notification to keep your track account activity and receive important alerts. Very, be mindful be mindful for currency exchanges rates when making international transactions before you do the transfer transferring money you have to check it first it's better learn basic portuguese banking terms to facilitate communication with bank representatives so opening a bank account in portugal is a crucial step in integrating into portuguese society and managing your finances effectively but by carefully researching your banks, considering needs and preferences, and following the necessary procedures, you can smoothly navigate the, the Portuguese banking landscape and make a good new life here in Portugal as an expat. So I hope you find this video helpful and interesting. If you find this helpful, please consider a like, subscribe to my channel, and and you can share it to your family and friends who need some motivations or informations about this Portugal information if they want to be who's in who's in person what the fuck happened to me because my because of my short hair okay so that's it up, up. see you guys next time ciao